Here today we have a very special guest with us. He's renowned for many of his accomplishments on the internet um, and oh, in the bedroom. Yes, it is Zach Braff. Zach Braff, everybody. <laughs> Woo! It's good to see you, Braffster. We call Braffster around here, boys. We call Braffster, dude. He's the Braffster around this place, dude. Wait, who's Zach Braff, actually? Right exactly. There, really? Instead, we've little. got with us Tom. Uh, Tom what Flippin' an Fold. Tom Fold. <laughs> well, welcome, to, welcome to the podcast, Tom. Welcome. Go Cut. Go Cut. Thank you. Thanks. For those of you oh, who, no, don't, no. who don't know, Tom Fulp is the this president and CEO of Newgrounds.com. Well, if you aren't familiar with Newgrounds.com, you, you you're not missing much. Hey, oh, damn, dude, damn, that's too real, dude. Damn. <laughs> so what's going on, Tom? Not much. <laughs> All right, Tom. Let's let's get into I like, it. I like how you're looking Perfect. around. You're like looking around for an exit strategy. Yeah. You uh, got your, yourself, your wife, and me. You have to fuck one, marry one, kill one. Go. Tom, how big is your dick? What's your poop smell like? Tom. <laughs> Tom, how big is your poop? What's your dick smell like? <laughs> Come on, Tom. <laughs> Come on, Tom. Answer, Tom. It's it's kind of loose. Uh, yeah, no, let's see. What's your dick one? or the poop? Yeah, hold on. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Tom, are you available for other parties? Or <laughs> Tom, your 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 handsome good looks aren't going to translate on the podcast. I know. I, we need okay. to hear your handsome. Well, good here looks. I'll I'll ask you guys some questions. How about that? Well, he's, he's flipping, he's flipping he's that shit. He's flipping us. Yeah. He's flipping that shit. So so, how's everything going with the sleepy cast? Uh, it's how? ending. We're all in a horrible terms. Terrible. Hate Holy shit! I hate everyone's guts. Everyone hates me. <laughs> There you go. Next there you question. Go. Oh yeah, How, how's Newgrounds going, Tom? Oh, how's that going? Newgrounds is going fine. <laughs> he said that. He's shifting up. He's twiddling his thumbs and looking around the room. <laughs> it's, it's like we kidnapped him. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, you were also uh, you also you were responsible for Castle Crashers as well. Yes. Whoa. Yes, I was the lead programmer of Castle Crashers. <laughs> Very Whoa. proud. Very proud moment of my life. I'm proud of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. Don't bust your arm. What about Alien Hominid? What did you have to do with Alien Hominid? Uh, I was also lead programmer of Alien Hominid. Right, I have a question. Um, with the whole process of Alien Hominid, like. Hominid. <laughs> you said hominid twice, and you said hominid. You know what? You just heard what it sounded like. Hominid? Hominid? What is a hominid? Hominid. Were like alien hominid? Name. It's a, is it like a humanoid? Is it alien that's hominid? Like, like, yes, yeah. I was like, never on board with that name. I always thought it was stupid. I always thought, I always thought <laughs> hominid. What, alien hominid? Really, man? No, What's a better name? Thought... What's a better name? Alien. What would you name it? Yellow, Yellow alien. alien. Everyone Yellow calls alien. it alien humanoid. Yellow alien, dude. I would, I would have called it. It's still a shitty name, but it's a damn sight better. What the hell is a hominid? I thought it was Someone hominid. was flipping through this. Like this, homicide. This you know homicide. I think it's That's like a bipedal humanoid, humanoid creature. Yeah, I think Jeff's got it. Look, yeah. this is what it is. It's the alien. The alien heard the word humanoid. He went, I'm a, a hominid. And that's all it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Where did the name the come from, Tom? Do you know? <laughs> there is a story. Uh, Dan woke up one morning with a really bad headache. And he told his then girlfriend, I feel like an alien hominid bit my head off. Who the hell she says that? I thought you were going to say something pretty dark, like he woke up and told his girlfriend, I want to break up with no, you. No, no, and then okay. she said, what does an alien hominid look like? And he, that's, then he drew it. He, so he made it? up the word? No, yeah. hominid's a word. The, the, the word exists. Mm. Oh. He combined it, I guess, with alien. <laughs> would, would you like to cover any other... Like game development uh, stories. Yeah, I'm curious on, because you, you have all the spicy deets, my friend. Yeah, you know what, Tom? We all, all we see is the results of all your guys' hard work here. We see the success of the games you guys have made. What are the horror stories? What's the what's the shit that like almost killed you all while you're you making know, these games? I remember watching him program the end at the very end of Castle Crashers. I think Tom. I think Tom's gratefully didn't have a gun on his desk. <laughs> <laughs> No. Well, yeah, that is like, uh, well, yeah, he was very <laughs> upset. He looked very tired. Because he was running like two full time jobs, basically. Well, yeah, the final year of Castle Crashers was a year of nonstop work around the clock. Jesus. And, like, and it's interesting because it's like, you kind of feel like uh, as you're getting older, it's like, can I still do that? And then every once in a while, you have like a period where you remind yourself that you can. Were you married, married during that time? I got married towards the end. Or, yeah. I, yeah. That's pretty shitty planning on your... Yeah, that's not yeah. done. But then didn't have kids until afterwards, so that worked out. That yeah. was well planned. 
What was but, this? Um, Alien Hominid or Castle Crashers? Castle Crashers. Oh, okay. Yeah, Alien Hominid was like a cakewalk compared to Castle Crashers because Alien Hominid seemed stressful at the time because, like, at that time I was also, like, always canceling plans with anyone that wanted to do stuff and whatever, but I was still... You know, it wasn't as all-encompassing, and it I, took 15 months. So, sorry. You also um, have to juggle QC and, and what's QC? handle, handle oh, all the control? other shit at the end that you didn't even yeah. foresee. I always oh, saw okay. uh, Alien... Dealing with publishers. I'm afraid that. to say the name now. I'm alien Hominid. Lower hominid. 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 Alien Hominid. Alien Hominid. Alien Hominid. I always it? thought Alien Hominid... Um, you fucked it up. You said Did I? Did I fuck it up? Alien Hominid. It was kind of a game, like, when I first played it, it was kind of a game that was kind of made as you went like because you start like seeing like the first level how it's coded and then you start like seeing because it gets fucking crazy with bosses and like levels and shit you're just like um because you don't really know what's going on like because you're you're an alien that's attacking but like there were so many different bosses and stuff is that what happened was that the kind of process like as yeah, you went you learn newer things and implemented that's them? been the way all of them have been basically is just build as you go that's, um, I mean that's good because you learn new things and then you can go back and change yeah. them yeah you know, like there's always that there, well actually there used to be that guilt of not having like a design doc because everyone says you're supposed to have a design doc where you plan it all out ahead of time well even but shitty so much, games have a design yeah, doc yeah so much changes as you go though and you sort of you realize that you're gonna keep having ideas and keep wanting to change things so it do seems you, like it's working. Do you think in hindsight you'd make Alien Hominid easier? Yes. Because yeah, it's known as a very hard game. game. Yeah. yeah. That game no, the biggest, frustrating. The biggest regret, besides it being hard in general, the biggest regret is that the second level is so hard. Oh, yeah. Like the, the freeway compared level. Compared to the other ones. And it's funny because there's some levels that have really cheap deaths, but the freeway level I can play <laughs> without dying. <laughs> because, so it actually isn't like a cheap death level compared to some of the others, but most people use up all their lives on the freeway level. You just level. have to get good at it, like uh, the, that Battletoads thing. Okay, you know what? No, no, fuck that level. You talking about the speed racing with the fuck... No, dude, that... Those things came so quick. Trying to time that at times was virtually fucking impossible. Well, I mean, I'm, in theory, like... The was that randomized? That, that I don't think it was randomized. Yeah, I don't think it was. I think it just didn't matter because of the, the spacing of them. It wasn't like you could just... Yeah. Like, oh, I, I know this. It's like well, it was they, still a ninja like samurai They, they level. threw curveballs because at that part, you're going, like, back and forth, back, and then yeah. there's kind of like a rhythm, but then, like, suddenly there's two there, two there, and then, yeah. like, does it again, and then there's two there. Like, it kind of tries to fuck you and up. And then there was somewhere, kind of I, I think, going. I don't remember 100%, but I'm pretty sure there was somewhere, like, you had to jump over a pit, but you had to time the jump right because right when you got to the other side, there would have been, like, another thing waiting for you or something. Like I don't another know. ramp to jump? Yeah, I just remember that it was, was it. fucking tough. That was dude. a third level. Fuck that, battle toads anyways. Here's, Moving yeah, on. Here's a question. Tom, what are your what are your inspira- what were you, what games were your inspirations growing up to like in- influence your uh, your game your game development career? The the biggest ongoing influence is Treasure. So they made Gunstar Heroes, Guardian Heroes, Radiant Silver Gun mm. were like the big ones that really Gunstar inspire like game feel for me and they had good music and good stuff. Yeah, everything was cool in those Gunstar games. Gunstar was What's, like oh, and I was able to beat me. them all too. Like I it's funny, like, considering Alien Hominid's so hard, because I hated hard games growing up, so I liked that I could beat all of the Was that your games, vengeance? So. Was that, like, your... No, I think it just, it just didn't know any better. Like, I thought it had to be. I thought, like, it was supposed to be hard. Like, it's hadn't stepped out of that yeah. mindset. The treasure doesn't exist anymore, right? No, they're still around. You trying to draw a parallel there? <laughs> <laughs> Tom, their what's, what's, what's a good game to you? What makes a good game? What do you seek out to do? Bes- I mean, besides like fun, obviously, you want to create fun. But what, what do you what do you think a ge- good game needs to have? Oh, yeah. Well, that's uh, well, okay. I'll, I'll just look at what I enjoyed like recently, like Super yeah. Mario 3D World on uh, the Wii U. There's a there's a video on YouTube that kind of gets into how they do it, where pretty much every level has a unique toy or theme, <clears throat> and at the start of the level, you get introduced to the theme in a safe way where you can't get hurt while you learn it. Mm. And then next, they have you do the theme with a challenge involved. Yeah. And then for the third phase, they put a twist on it yeah. and change it up. And the whole game is like that. Interesting. And it feels, it's so well polished where like sometimes it, I think of it more like a physical toy than a game because it never reminds me that it's a game because it's so perfectly done. The yeah. video is Mathematosis. Hmm. He made that video uh, in Ketosis. Yeah, I saw that yeah. one as well. He's good. And then that Captain Toad Treasure Tracker was the same way, where like each level is just this fun little puzzle <clears> box <throat> where you almost feel like you're playing with a like a toy in your hands for some reason. The um the view thing in that though was obnoxious. It can be a little weird. It obscure the view. Yeah. And gyro controls. What's a game you hated, Tom? Game What's I a game everyone it? liked and you hated it? <laughs> 
Well, the original Mario, but more and more people do come out of the woodwork admitting they hated the original Mario. But I Dude, didn't. That, I, you know what? I, didn't I tried like the playing Mario. that fucking game again on like the Mario re- like the Nintendo. Are we really thing? gonna shit on Mario Brothers? <laughs> hold on, wait, hold on. I'm gonna stay and say like shitting. This is why we hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm, 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 I'm not shitting on Mario Brothers. It it fucking came and it landed. It fucking revolutionized video games all over again after the crash of the video game market or whatever the fuck. But. In our day and age, that game is a clunky mess. Like, playing the NES, like, remix and stuff, you realize how fucking floaty your jumps are. Like, when you jump, you're fucking, what? your momentum is still What's going. What's the NES remix? I haven't heard of this. It's, a, it's actually a really cool concept where it re- lets you play old NES games, and they kind of put a challenge on it. In a very it, autistic way. And it's really fucking difficult. Oh. Like, sometimes it's really easy, like, oh, collect three coins, and then it's like, oh, um, fucking, um, what, what do you call it? Where you, like... Um, Basically, it's like if you, if you were eating we cereal like with marshmallows, and like all of a sudden one of the games was only eat blue marshmallows, <laughs> yeah. and you sat there like an idiot staring into your bowl of cereal looking for blue marshmallows. Oh. Congratulations, you won. Yeah, okay. and if you get it, you have a time thing and then the stars, so you want to get the best stars to get the best time. But sometimes <laughs> they're like, hey, exploited glitch in our game we didn't fucking fix because we didn't know about it at the time, but everyone else knows yeah. about it, and now we know about it because of the internet. And you're like, excuse me? I don't know how to do this. And then it's like, Oh, too bad. You don't get any stars. Hold on. So Why do you hate Mario Bros? Yeah. Wait, yeah, I want to know what are the reasons you would hate Same Mario Bros. Same Mario. I just, <laughs> they said the original. Like, it was three hard. Still holds it up. was hard. And yeah, three, I, like no, three, three, I like two a lot. I like two a lot. And I like two three. Two and World are the best, in my opinion. Uh, two, two. I think two is yeah. garbage. Something about yeah. the first good. one just never. It wasn't originally a Mario game. It doesn't matter. I did the good one. It's not a horrible game. It's still way better than the first one. Did you guys ever play Bayou Billy? Oh yeah. I'm really yeah. So Bio Billy was the like the, Bio Billy. the first level was a brawler, but it also had like driving levels and stuff and the the graphics were pretty good and I was really excited about it, but the first level was like this really long slow level where the enemies like there's this like I think it was like a guy in like a wetsuit that came out of the water that took forever to kill and the whole level just was just like this slow slog and most of the time you never beat the first level been, and I remember this yeah. one afternoon Wade beat the first level and then played through like all these there's like this whole game after the first level that he was able to play through after that but there was like I think it was just like that one afternoon and I've never seen anything but the was, first level was was that one of the accomplishments that he holds dear to his heart Wade, Wade always was better. He he was more uh, he persevered with the games more. I liked I liked yeah, now seeing, look the, at him. seeing the details of the game and everything. So you still haven't explained why you didn't like Mario. Yeah, I just don't, I think in general like I don't like when you die and have to repeat a bunch of crap. That's like the best that's part of a game. Okay, yeah, also you can just hold select and then start again, or was it select an A or just whatever it was and you could literally restart at the world. Do you mean yes. like start from the beginning, from the whole Mario. game, or you just don't like dying and have to run out of lives and have to, you'd run you'd out of your start lives. Over. I think a lot of us will get Everyone's like, talk, everyone's talk, like Hasn't every podcast talked about Mario though? I don't know. Let's talk about it. Right, we're I, talking I, about game design, but yeah. I'll say how I like Mario. I wouldn't say that I love it. I mean, I got good memories. I love part three.